Hello friends! Happy New Year! Can you believe it's already 2017? As you can see, I like to be really festive, so I'm gonna wear this New Year's hat for this video. I hope everyone is now ready for 2017. It's gonna be a good year, I can't wait. I just can't believe it's already a new year. If I were to pick one New Year's resolution that I like actually want to stick to, honestly, it's to keep up with my vlog channel. I'm going to start vlogging a lot more in 2017. I know I always say that, but like that is a resolution that I want you guys to hold me accountable to. Also to keep up with my main channel videos, honestly. Just more YouTube in general. But anyway, the purpose of this video today is just a best of 2016 video. This is just going to cover all the categories, so makeup, hair, um, I'm also gonna do music, and I'm gonna do some other random stuff too. I just kind of wanted to show you guys my favorites from 2016 that are products that I truly don't think I could live without, or my makeup and hair would not look as good without. Without further ado, here are my 2016 favorites. What if I like actually picked out 2016 products to show you guys? I'm gonna do that next year. I'm gonna pick out 2017 products to show you guys, and I'm gonna do a video. So I'm gonna start with makeup. So I'm kind of just going through like all of the categories on my face, and if I skipped a category, it's because I really haven't found like a favorite in that category yet like for instance I don't really have a bronzer because I'm still kind of on the hunt for a bronzer like I use the hula one every day but it's like okay it's not like a favorite I mean like I could live without it these are all products that truly are my favorites and I do not see myself topping any of these anytime soon so for foundation this foundation brush has changed my life this is the Tarte what is this, airbrush, I think. My friend Jen told me about this brush um, a couple months ago and I ordered one and it is incredible for foundation. If you are looking for a foundation brush or if you already even have a foundation brush, I guarantee you this is better than any foundation brush you will ever try. This does not absorb like any product. It just smooths it on your face without soaking it all up. It's just, it's amazing. And for foundation, the Laura Mercier, I will never change from this foundation. Previously, I've used the oil-free one. This is actually the Silk Cream Moisturizing. It's the exact same one that I was using, but I kind of noticed that the consistency of the oil-free one was drying out my face a little bit. And I have like acne creams and stuff that I put on my face every night. This is kind of what I use as a moisturizer, even though it's obviously foundation but it's a moisturizing foundation it's not a tinted moisturizer like it's totally full coverage and everything it's what I'm wearing today but I have been to Sephora several times this year and tried out probably three or four different foundations and nothing compares to this foundation for eyeliner this is actually pretty recent but this is the Marc Jacobs what is this highliner gel crayon this thing will not come off at all in the water when I sweat when I work out barely comes off when I take it off with my makeup remover at night. Like, this is the best eyeliner pencil ever. It blows uh, Urban Decay's Perversion out of the water, and I use Perversion forever. Probably three or four years I use Perversion, but I just recently found this, because I swatched this one day when I went to Sephora, and you know, every time I leave Sephora, I have like colors all over my hand. So I always try to like wash off my swatches before I leave. And I swatched this on my hand and I was trying to wash it off before I left and it would not come off. I mean, it wouldn't move. So that's how I knew that it was a really good eyeliner, but I need a waterproof eyeliner because I'm always at the beach, you know, I'm always working out, and I hate when eyeliner smudges, when you have like black under your eyes, I hate that. So I've been looking for a more waterproof eyeliner and this is incredible. Also what I like about it is it twists. So you don't even have to worry about bringing a sharpener anywhere. It's literally the best. My favorite mascara is the Marc Jacobs. This is the, I don't know the name of anything. Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. This was in my favorites that I did a couple months ago and it is amazing. Perfect formula. Not too thick, not too wet, super volumizing. Everything you would want in a mascara. I didn't realize until now that these are both Marc Jacobs. Wow, I'm so stupid. Not sponsored by Marc Jacobs. I just really genuinely love these two products. Best concealer I found so far is the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is in the shade Medium Light Neutral. So my undertone in my skin is yellow. So it has the perfect 
amount of yellow undertones in it. It's a great concealer, amazing coverage. I love this concealer. It's really, really great. Now, you won't believe this, but I have actually changed my eyebrow pencil from the Anastasia, the beloved Anastasia pencil I do not use anymore because I use this now. This is the Goof Proof Brow Pencil Benefit. I'm starting to think that it's the color that I like better. Also, I really like this applicator better too. I don't even know what you call that shape, but it's like the thicker one as opposed to the little tiny PowerPoint. It just goes on so smoothly and the color is perfect for my brows. I was just trying everything out in Sephora. I think it was the same day that I found the Marc Jacobs pencil also. So that was a good day. <laughs> also, the packaging's so cool, right? For lips, this is my Kat Von D Bow and Arrow lipstick. This is the best matte brown color I have found so far in all my years purchasing makeup. This was in one of my previous favorites videos too and I mentioned how I'm like not really a fan of the consistency because it's not the longest lasting but it's grown on me and also I use it over lip liner which helps it stay. It's not like drying or anything. What I love about this is just the color. It is the most flattering color. Maybe it just works perfectly on my skin tone. I also as you can see really love browns as opposed to like red or pink. I like warmer colors on my lips. Like all of the reds that I have are like deep dark red. So I usually go for browns and like mauve colors. This is the most beautiful shade of like mauve brown that I've ever found. Okay, that's it for makeup. Um, I'm gonna move on to hair now. Obviously this goes without saying, but <laughs> Surprise, surprise! Best thing you could ever do to your hair is put coconut oil in it. For those of you that haven't seen any of my previous coconut oil videos, I do this about once or twice a week. Put it in my hair, leave it on. I leave it on overnight. You can leave it on like after three or four hours though. Wake up, wash it out, give it some time, be patient with your hair, but it restores the shine, helps damage, uh, strengthens it, helps it grow. Anything that you could ever imagine for your hair, this does. And I get success stories every day from all of you guys, all of my fans. You guys Snapchat me and tell me how much this has helped your hair. So it's not just me, it's all of you guys too. So I swear by this stuff, it is the best thing you will ever do to your hair. For shampoo, my favorite shampoo line and pretty much the only shampoo and conditioner that I buy is from the Organics line. I've talked about in my videos in the past how I really like to rotate my shampoos. So like, this is the one I'm on now, but I'm almost out of this one. So once I'm out of it, I'll go to another type of shampoo in that line. It just like keeps my hair fresh. I don't know, if I use the same shampoo for a long time, I don't feel like my hair gets as clean. That's just kind of what I found. So this is the Argan Oil of Morocco one right now. I don't really have a favorite like out of the line. They're all sulfate free, which is awesome. I didn't know that, but on their website it says um, that all of their products are sulfate free, which is really, really, really good. The Batiste Dry Shampoo, literally cannot live without this stuff because my hair gets greasy really, really fast. I think it's because I flip it all day long because whenever my hair is down, I'm always flipping my hair and touching it. Also, this is the best smelling. I want a perfume in this scent. It's incredible. It's so fresh, but aside from the scent, this stuff really is such a miracle worker. I mean, it looks like I freshly washed my hair after spraying this in my roots. It's amazing. The final product that I'm gonna show you guys is my wet brush. It has saved my hair from serious breakage. This thing is magical. I thought you could only order these online, but if you guys didn't know, you can go to like Target and CVS and Walgreens and buy a wet brush. I didn't even know that, but I literally thought that you could only order them online. And then I saw them in Walgreens one day and I was like, wait a second. I went to Walgreens and I got the little one and I keep it in my beach bag. My hair obviously gets so knotted at the beach. The wet brush like plows through my tangles like you wouldn't believe. It is literally amazing. It is the only brush that detangles my hair without completely breaking it. Those are all of the products. Now I'm just gonna like list a couple random things that are my favorites of 2016. So the first one is my phone case. This is one of the best purchases I have ever made. It's by Incipio, and what it does is it holds three cards. So like when I go out, I'm not someone that brings a purse. I don't wanna have to fool with it. I have all of my cards in here, like my license, my credit card, my student ID, whatever I need that night. It's like a little secret compartment that you would never know is on the back of my phone, but it has my cards. So literally this is the perfect case. You guys know I love music, and all of my favorite songs are actually in playlists on my Spotify and SoundCloud. SoundCloud, all of my favorite songs I like, 
like. I think it's just Jordan Ann. Go to my likes and then you can hit shuffle if you want or you can just go through there and see what my favorite songs are. And on Spotify, I actually recently have made playlists. So like I have like a weekend slash pregame playlist. I have a chill trap playlist. I have a beach playlist. So like all of my favorite songs from those different genres, I have categorized into playlist. So if you guys are looking for some good music, check out my Spotify and you'll see like all of my favorite picks of this recent year. But favorite song of 2016, I'm going to have to say Closer. Like I can't, I can't not have that as my favorite. Literally the night that Closer came out, I was on iTunes at 11.59 and when it turned to 12 o'clock midnight, I purchased it because I had heard like a preview of it before it was released and I was obsessed with it. So I waited for like three months for that song to come out and the night that it came out, I purchased it. That is just the best song ever. I also have a lot of really cool remixes of that song on my SoundCloud, so you should check them out. And then finally, if you haven't downloaded the app Waze yet, it has changed my life when it comes to driving. My best friend Sarai thought it was called Wazi because it's spelled W-A-Z-E, and I was like, no, stupid, it's ways, like the ways that you go. Yeah, she's a keeper. I had an Uber driver use it one time, and I was like, oh, that's like a really cool, convenient app. What is that? He's like, oh my gosh, like you have to get it. It is the greatest thing ever. It is so much better than the Maps app or even the Google app. I used to use the Google Maps app every time I drove, but it gives you like route suggestions. It is the most convenient thing if you are someone that needs to navigate a lot of different places, and I am because I'm horrible with directions, especially living in Nashville, because in South Florida, everything is relative to the ocean. Like I know that the ocean is east and I know which direction all the roads down here go. So that's how I get myself around. I know which way I'm going either away from the ocean or parallel to the ocean or towards the ocean. But in Nashville, there's no ocean to map anything by. I literally get lost almost every time I'm driving somewhere new in Nashville. So that app has seriously changed my life. It's amazing. You guys have to download it. Anyway, I think that is everything everything that I wanted to mention. These are truly things that I cannot live without. They're so amazing and I just wanted to share all of them with you so hopefully you guys can try them out too. Like I said, please follow my vlog channel as well as all my social media. Everything will be in the description bar below. Wishing everyone a happy new year. Hope everyone had a great night. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.